Hello everyone, Bobby from Repair Shopper. Welcome back to Feature Friday. Uh, this week we're going to be talking about the ever most interesting inventory labels. I know, super suspenseful. Hold on to your chairs. Let's get into this. This week we have an update uh, to the inventory labels that I think a lot of people are going to be very, very happy about. Um, so let's get into talking about what the two inventory label types are. Maybe some people don't know that there are two types. Let's talk about that. So uh, in the inventory system in Repair Shopper, there are what we call basic labels and then in stock labels. Basic labels are your everyday UPC code uh, types of labels. So click the button there. It'll show a PDF that looks like this with some of the ticket information, or excuse me, the inventory information, uh, the price, and then uh, UPC if you're using it. Otherwise, it just uses the product ID, which is a generic kind of like database ID that's hidden uh, most of the time. But anyway, that's basic labels. Then, if your product is set to maintain stock or serialized, there's going to be another option that's called in stock labels. Now, what's different about these, and I'll, I'll click it so you can see it, the in stock labels, uh, as you can tell, don't use the UPC code. Uh, the reason for that is, is each one of these labels is actually tied to a specific product instance. And those, when this barcode is scanned, actually uh, remove that specific instance out of your inventory. And the reason I'm, I'm saying uh, or describing the situation like that is because when you're using the basic labels, Repair Shopper is using what's called a first in, first out uh, inventory method. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that too long don't read version of uh, first in, first out or FIFO as some people call it is basically it you receive one item and then you sell it and that particular first item that you received is used and then the next one and so on and so forth after that. So first item received is the first out. FIFO. Well, in stock labels and the instance system actually do away with that and it's generally uh, something that's commonly used with serialized products a lot but also in maintained stock where you pick an item up and you want, you're tracking the serial number for it, you want to notify the system that you sold that specific one, whether it was received first or fifth, you're selling that specific one. And that's the purpose of in-stock labels, is so that you can track specific individual instances of these products. And just to give you kind of an idea again, if I click on QTY details, it's going to take me to the product instances page because this is a maintained stock item and you can see all of the different IDs. So if I wanted to, let me go to the stuff that's in stock really quick. Oop, page four. Okay, so if I grabbed this, this one off the shelf and scanned the instance barcode, this particular line would get sold before this one because I scanned the instance barcode for that. If it was a basic label that I was scanning, because this is the next one in line, this one would get sold. So, circling back to product labels, why using one version of the product label over the other is important is because if you're using basic labels, you're following the first in, first out method, which means it's pulling the first product available from the line. You wouldn't necessarily use those if you're tracking serial numbers because you have no control over what serial number is in what order. Um, the inverse is the same with in stock labels. If you type a product uh, into the search of an invoice, for instance, like if I type the name into a line item and hit enter, the system's gonna grab the first product in that, uh, in that line like I had showed you on the product instances, but if you are also using in stock labels in that case and someone came through and scanned the barcode that belonged to that product that you grabbed off the shelf, you could run into a circumstance where it, the system's going to say, hey, I'm sorry, that product was sold already because the ID, I'll click it again, the ID on the label was already used. So all of that is to say you either should just use basic labels and the typing to manually enter things onto invoices and scanning, or you should just use in stock labels. All right, 
So why do why does all of this matter? Why have I taken five minutes to explain all of that? Well, what we've done is if you go to the inventory preferences screen and then hit advanced, there's a new option called use basic labels instead of instance labels on non-serialized product. So I'm gonna check this, hit save, and let's go to a purchase order. We'll start there. So on the purchase order, a lot of you are used to maintain, of course, you know, maintain stock products uh, and serialized products are the only things that can be added to a purchase order. But a lot of you will know the received item labels button specifically is gonna be the uh, instance labels. Well, now, that button changed to something just called labels. And if you click that, it's going to be the basic label that generates instead of the, uh, the instance I dash uh, UPC code. What this means is, is that you're no longer necessarily tied to only using instanced barcodes um, if you didn't want to. I know a lot of folks have been asking for this option to be available in purchase orders, but uh, it's finally available. Uh, the other thing too, Coming back here, I'll refresh this screen from the product detail page. You'll notice that the instance barcode option goes away and the basic label option is still here and you, you can print out with it. So I know this video is kind of long-winded. It's a little bit longer than uh, a lot of the videos and certainly a little more wordy. I do apologize about that, but this is kind of a, at least in my opinion, a, a big change. So again, sorry about that folks. You head to settings and then click advanced and then check use basic labels instead of instance labels or non-serialized products. Hit save. That will effectively disable the instance barcodes and only show the basic labels on the product detail page and on purchase orders. Uh, just one more kind of like side note. Um, if you're only gonna use basic labels, Make sure you get rid of all of your instanced labels. Otherwise, it could cause some confusion if someone scans an instance label and, um, that was already that instance was already sold. Um, so you, you wanna go all one way or all the other. You don't wanna use a combination of the two um, on, a partic on the same product. Um, anyway, uh, I hope everyone really likes uh, this, this new quality of life update. And uh, I look forward to seeing everyone next week. We got some really cool stuff coming. I'm very excited. All right, everyone, hit the like button, subscribe, all that, you know, stuff YouTubers say and all that good stuff. And uh, I'll catch you next time. See ya.